hello everyone welcome to today's tutorials today we will continue with what we started on operators before we move ahead don't forget to subscribe to this channel to have related content let's move on today we are talking about logical and comparison operators we started looking at operators from the previous videos if you have not seen that video please go back and then watch that this is a continuation of that and in this video we are going to continue with logical and comparison operators what are logical and comparison operators logical and comparison operators are operators that helps us to compare two operands so if we have two items we want to compare and come to a conclusion these set of operators would help us do that comparison what are they these operators are the equal to operator the not equal to operator the less than operator the greater than operator the less than or equal to operator and then the greater than or equal to operator these operators helps us to compare two items so when we put these operators in between those two items then it is supposed to return true or false it will return true if the operator in between speaks to the two operands so for instance if we are comparing three and five and we put an equal sign in between if three is equal to five then it will return true but since three is not equal to five it is going to return false so let's see how these comparison operators can be used in real life since comparison operators would either return a true or false let us declare a variable that we would use to hold the result of our evaluation so we'll call our variable my boo and since my boo can only hold true or false then the type should be boo so boo my boo we can either leave it at this or we can initiate it to false so by default it means that the value we are storing inside my boo is false then now we can compare two numbers for instance like i said three and then five so let's assume that we have two numbers three and five we want to compare so if three is the same as five then this comparison should return true but if it is not the same then this comparison should return false so let's say my boo should be equal to a comparison between three and five now let's output what is inside my boo So we are saying that my boo contains and then let's see what is inside my boo so let's go ahead and run this and see what we get in running this we will see that we have here my boo contains zero zero is a representation of false and so my boo contains zero let's change the numbers we are evaluating from 3 and 5 to 5 and 5. After changing it, we want to compare if 5 is the same as 5. Let's run it and see. We run it and we see that now my boo contains 1. And so it means that the result of the evaluation is true. Okay, so we can also compare two variables. So let's assume that we have two variables, which is my, my first, 
sorry. My first should be equal to 10. And then my second should be equal to 20. But because we are declaring them for the first time, I'll declare them as integers. So this is an integer and this also has as an integer. What we can do is to compare two variables. So it, you cannot, it's not just numbers or values that we can compare. So we can have a situation where we say my boo is equal to, and then we compare the variable my first to the variable my second so in this case we are saying that my first is not equal to my second so if it is true that my first is not equal to my second then it will return true so true will be stored in my book but if the statement my first is not equal to my second is false then false will be returned to my book so let's print what is inside my book and then see what we have so i'll just copy the cl statement and then print it out let's see let me run it and then we'll see so you see that this is for the first one five is the same as five so you see that five is equal to five it returns true because five is the same as five but when we are comparing to my first is not the same as Obviously, 10 is not the same as 20, so it will, it will also return true. It's returning true because 10 is not the same as 20. But we can change this. Let's change this. And then let's make my first 20. So that in this case, what is inside my first is 20. What is inside my second is 20. So let's see if the statement my first is not the same as my second is true. So you see that 5 is the same as 5, so it returns true. But 20 is the same as 20. So if you state that my first is not the same as my second, then that statement is false. And that is why the second output, my bool, contains 0, which is false. So using or following the same trajectory, Whenever you want to use a comparison operator, you just have to put that comparison operator in between the two operands. So depending on whether the statement would evaluate to true or false, you can use it for whatever you want to use for. These comparison operators will usually come into play when we are treating decision making or if statement, where you need to make some comparison and then arrive at an answer and so the rest would follow the same trajectory if you want to compare if one operand is less or equal to something then you know which of the operators to use or if you want to compare if it is greater or equal to you know which operator to use if you want to compare which is less than you know what to use and if it is greater than you know what to use so all of this would follow the same trajectory all right, so this would bring us to comparison operators. The next thing we are going to look at is logical operators. When we talk about logical operators, logical operators are used to combine two relational statements to evaluate it to either true or false. This is what I mean. You see, we have two statements here. Five is equal to 5 and then we also have another statement my first is not equal to my second so sometimes you need to combine these two different statements and see whether the combination would evaluate to true or would evaluate to false this is where logical operators come in so logical operators helps us to combine two different relational statements together there are three main logical operators that we'll be using in c this is the not operator 
the end operator and then the or operator so you see how these logical operators are used in C++ let's try an example so we can pick the first statement that we made here 5 is the same as 5 and then combine that with I'll start with the end operator and my first is not the same as my second so if you combine these two operators the result should either be true or false how would we know if it is true or false when you are using the end operator this statement the first statement should be true and then the second statement should also be true it is only at that point that it will return true if the state first statement is true and the second statement is false it will return false if the first statement is false and the second statement is true it will return false so if you are looking for a true for your logical operator to return true when you're using the end operator then both the evaluation on the left hand side and then the right hand side should evaluate to true so five should be equal to five and my first should not be equal to my second so in this case let's run and see what we get Uh, my bad I have not uh, displayed the output so let's let me go ahead and then display the output so now let's run it again and then let's see so you would see that the first one 5 is the same as 5 yes that is true 20 is not the same as 20 but we have 20 and 20 so that is false and then because this is true and this is false then end operator will return false and so that's why we are getting this so one thing we should take note is that whenever you are using the end operator both sides of the operator should be true in order to return true let's look at the or operator all right so in the case of the or operator you only need one side of the operator to be true for the statement to be true so the or operator is represented by two pipes so 5 is the same as 5 20 is not the same as 20 so we can see that the statement on the right hand side is false because 20 is the same as 20 but because 5 is the same as 5 it would evaluate the whole statement to true so my boo will return true instead of false when we use the or operator so let's try it and see so we can see that in the first instance 5 is the same as 5 that is true in the second instance 20 is not the same as 20 that is false so it contains 0 and then in the third instance where we are using the logical operator because one of the statement at least one of the statement is true the entire statement would evaluate to true so either one is true or both are true it will return true but in the case of the end operator you need both sides to be true for the entire statement to be true now that we understand the end and then the or operator let us look at how to use the NOT operator. The NOT operator simply evaluates whatever the result is to uh, the other side. So, for instance, if this statement is evaluated to true, then the NOT operator would turn it to false. Otherwise, if it returns false and you use the NOT operator, it will return true. This is what I mean. So, we know that this returned true in our first statement but as soon as we apply the not operator and i'll put all of that into brackets so that the evaluation would be correct so it will take this statement 
and then it will combine it with the all logical operator and then it will take this statement and all of this under normal circumstances like we saw earlier on returned true but because we have used the not operator the not operator will change the true to false let's see what i mean so you see that five is the same as five so it's returning true 20 is the same as 20 so it is returning false and then in the third case where we are using the logical operator 5 is the same as 5 or 20 is not the same as 20 should return true but because we use the not operator here it changed the true to false so the not operator always gives you the opposite of the evaluation Again, this brings us to the end of our session on operators. Please do well to subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this. Thank you.